Hi, uh, my name is Leonor. I'm doing part three of the Aries Rising video. Um, I had mentioned before um, about other signs joining us. <laughs> um, Libra, especially, especially Libra, um, just because they're the polar opposite of Aries. And um, Scorpio just kept, Scorpio just kept popping in my head. I don't know why. Um, just that planet Pluto in itself um, or maybe because um, Scorpio oh I know why Scorpio um, the co-ruler of Scorpio is Mars um, so Aries and Scorpio do share a planet um, Taurus as well um, because I, I I'm not gonna name it um, the Venus in Aries video but I I would like to definitely just keep it in the Aries category <laughs> in my playlist um, because I, I I am talking about them and, and I had explained in part one why all right um so let's start clarifying and I definitely want to start with the four of Pentacles man that is killing me what are you guys holding on to what is it or who's holding on to you all right That is too much. I am not taking that. All right, I'm gonna shuffle like in front of the camera. Sorry. Um, all right, there's a whole bunch of cards that came out and I did not take it. All right, um, so leaving off um, from the last video, I had left with the Hierophant card and explained about ancestors and stuff like that and or just um, mentors and, and family members that you go to that are wise. Um, I forgot to mention the bottom of the deck on the Chrysalis Tarot. On the bottom of the deck, um, the Page of Wands was on the bottom. Sometimes I like to read the bottom of the deck to just kind of finish up what's going on. Um, Ace of Wands, I see it... Um, Wow, I, well, I didn't get great energy out of it. Um, it's like you want to start a new beginning, but you are really stuck. So, um, and I don't know why. So let's figure it out. Um, the four sten the four pinnacles. Um, Nine of Cups is clarifying on, in the mythic, my mythic tarot card. Tarot cards. Sorry about my grammar. It really sucks. I do try my best to be, um, to try to. <laughs> fix my grammar what does it mean so nine of cups is usually uh, happiness um, all right it looks like a relationship guys um someone's holding on to somebody else um, and I may be talking to a younger couple in their 20s um i'm i also see meddling for some reason i don't know why but i see an older woman or an older gentleman an older um either family member um friends could be friends just meddling in whatever it is that you're holding on yeah um, the page of Pentacles is on the bottom I wouldn't be surprised if they're maybe you're holding on to children um, just so you know the last Aries reading was all about um, a relationship not working out but you were holding on to a child or ch um, children um, and um, it sucks when a relationship ends and then there's children involved. And um, that was like the video that never uploaded. <laughs> um, just to give you, um, just to let you know what, what I read. I don't know why, just I, usually I let go of energy, um, but I that energy, I couldn't let go of that energy. I still, maybe because I've been trying to upload it forever. 
um, I want to I just want to clarify the nine of cups um, get a better story all right I don't I really don't want to shuffle in front of the camera my nails are like ugh, yucky <laughs> But you guys are more important. Now, I know Aries, is Taurus, and Libras are all about beauty. But you know what? Ugh. Not right now, guys. Not today. I'll give you beauty another day. I'll give you glamour another day. All right. So, Nine of Cups. Okay. So, geez louise. Okay, so the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, what is that telling me? Um, yeah, there is a sad energy here. All right, okay, all right. Um, someone, I'm going to, I mean, I want to go into the judgment card. But there is someone here, there is an energy here that is really in love. And does and it, and it looks like they invested, like I said before, in this relationship. This is not a new relationship. This is a relationship that has been um, ongoing for a while, maybe on and off, but definitely you've known each other for quite some time. Um, I have cups coming out. Cups represent water signs. Um, so either Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if that resonates with you. Um, in any way, if you have it in your chart or maybe you know someone with the water sign. Uh, this person, or maybe you, this could be vice versa, really want this relationship to work. It's, it's a really sad energy and I felt it when I ended the second part of this video. they don't want to let you go and maybe because I, I just feel like someone is listening to someone and maybe they're unhappy and they want to make you unhappy that could be one story one storyline but maybe they did give you your blessing and and maybe you fell out of love with them but I just see like one person just really being invested in this and the other person is just like, mm, you know what? Let's clarify the um, the judgment card. Um, the bottom of the deck there was a three of wands, um, which means waiting sometimes. Um, but let's clarify the judgment card, which is one of our major arcanas in the tarot deck. Judgment um, can mean a few things. It's a scorpionic energy. And I did mention um, the water sign. Um, Scorpio is being part of a water sign. Um, let's see. I, I, I read it as a Scorpio card. It's like the end. It represents Pluto, I think. But for sure, I read it as a Scorpio card. It's so Scorpionic. All right. Um, all right. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> you guys are going to make me cry in this video. I swear it. Um, I just felt that heavy energy just, oh, my God. Judgment is a Ten of Pentacles. So what is a Ten of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles is a foundation, a family that you have built. Um, solidarity um, in, in career and business. It could be making money. You know, you found your career um, or, or your own business. Look at this. This is a family. And again, like... So this is like an older, younger energy. There's kids, you know. I don't know. Um, I don't remember reading it. So I don't read this combined tarot deck that I have, the Native Americans with the mythic, 
the new mythic tarot cards i don't read them in reverse by the way they're not going to come out in reverse i will feel the energy if it's in reverse and this is in reverse there's a broken foundation and i'm so sorry i just feel like somebody just just said you know what this is not what i want or this is not who I want to be with. It's like someone woke up and the other one is still sleeping. It's like, but it's not working out. Like we tried, um, I tried or you tried, you know, and it's like, it's, I feel like both of you may be to blame, but one of you still, still wants to work it out, you know, no matter what the consequences or disadvantages are or... You know, even, you know, Aries, Aries, uh, they're not known for, I mean, I don't think Aries are known to settle. Are they known to settle? I don't know. Um, they may take their sweet time. Um, but if they are in a relationship or in a commitment, um, they do stay in it for quite some time. They do, they really do, but when it's over, it's over for them. All right, I'm trying to clarify the um, Ten of Pentacles. I don't know why, I just want to keep going with the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God, come on, you can't be serious. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, Major Arcana. This is from the Native American Tarot deck. Ten of Pentacles with the lovers. You got. You can't be serious. So I got the Judgment card. Judgment, okay. With the Ten of Pentacles. With the lovers. All right. I'm so. Now I'm supposed to figure this out. Okay, guys. <laughs> I just. I. I just feel this. Uh, the, uh, this energy of sadness, but. With the lovers coming out, I mean, hmm, I feel like it's a new energy. I feel like you may have someone else or thinking about someone else, or you are just thinking about yourself um, and trying to either, you know, too busy creating um, your own business or... You're too busy, you know, with your children. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting new from this card. Like, you see how she's holding this rabbit? And rabbits usually mean abundance. There's two suns here. And then there's, like, these two Native Americans, like, um, and they're on the ground. And she's just like standing in her glory in between two sons um, with a rabbit, mind you, holding a rabbit. There's water behind her. Um, I get content. Either you are trying to be in a content relationship. Content. I could be saying that wrong. <laughs> happy. Let's just say happy. You're trying to be in a happy relationship. You're trying to find a happy relationship. Um, I get newness um, from this, but I don't know why. I feel like you're. if you haven't found that special person, this may be, they may be on their way. Or that new job, they may call you. Um, if you had applied for one, you know. Um, okay. I'm not going to clarify. Uh, you know what? I, I am. Okay, 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 I am. Um, I'm going to clarify the um, the Ace of Swords. You know what? I'm not. Let's leave it alone. Because it just totally means not no communication. Whoever you're dealing with, you just don't. You know, I'm not trying to be. You're not trying to be bothered. Um, and then the page of okay. I'm just gonna clarify the hair of one. 
um, because I got such bad energy and then all of a sudden the lovers came out and for some reason yeah I I don't know guys I feel like you either know someone that you want to be in a relationship with or are going to be in a relationship this could be some a future energy you know what I mean ah drama all right um hair fonts let's let's clarify the hair font <sighs> because it is a major major arcana okay it is taurus it's the card of taurus and i wanted taurus to also listen to this video because um i am talking about both mars and venus venus um is uh, is in the house of Taurus and Libra. Two cards came out, but I don't know why we're trying to shuffle some more. Okay, nothing's coming out. All right. That's the two cards that came out? Yes. Oh my God, you won't even believe it. So the lovers came out again in the mythic tarot. And I'm clarifying the hair font. Hair font means commitment as well, by the way, not just creation or mentor or higher learning this is commitment what the heck? how did you I, i'm trying to figure this okay so all right underneath so there was two cards that came out the three of swords came out um oh god all right hold on hold on let me read it let me read it because i'm not even gonna talk right now this is drama guys yeah um you do have options <sighs> you have options you're getting tired some of something that you thought was stable but i feel like you're going out for an adventure but the Hierophant, oh God, the Hierophant with the Lovers and the Three of Swords. Yeah, I, I, I sense a lot of drama and maybe the Hierophant card, um, you know I was talking about how the Hierophant may be some type of um, mentor or Whatever drama you're going through, either um, you'll get the answers through a dream. You, it's maybe they're trying to tell you to be careful with a lover, um, even though you may know what you want. They may not want to let you go, um, and they'll probably try to give you gifts. Um, you know, um, or they just may just you know. Um, convince you into staying with them you know maybe for one night just one more night um, but it's just going to turn into drama I'm reading the three of swords as drama they are heart broken hearted I mean I did feel that energy in the very beginning I want to clarify the three of swords really 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 quickly I, I was trying to get something out of it um, I don't know why but very wants me to just get one more card out of it know what's gonna come out I'm kind of scared and I'm running out of time okay hold on uh, picking this card oh my god I can't believe it still came out again that's crazy with the judgment so the four cups was on the bottom um, right before the um, I stopped with the last clarifier it came out again four cups yeah I just I do sense drama and then the judgment is right underneath the four cups 
and the buffalo spirit that buffalo spirit you see that that's very spiritual card it's like you're tr they're trying to give you a message but you're not listening whoever is giving you advice you better start listening to them um look at this the moon right after that the moon represents secrets hitting emotions um, and then right after that, another major arcana, the Hierophant. So if I have to say anything about this reading, guys, um, you know, just to clarify, because I know some of you may be like confused right now. Someone or either you take this as, as it applies, you, I don't know your story, you know it more than I do. Someone is holding on to someone else. They don't want to let you go. Um, you make them very happy. Um, but someone is either meddling in your relationship affair and maybe that's what's keeping you away from them um, because they just don't, they're not listening to you. They're not giving you the power. Um, but they do have a tremendous love for you. Um, they do want to invest more in the relationship. But it doesn't seem like you don't want to do that at all. Um, the foundation and, and, and the solid commitment that you thought you had or wanted um, is out the window. Um, I feel like you're either going to have a new type of love, um, either with yourself. You know, people sometimes just forget about loving themselves. And, and, um, and I feel like either you may meet someone in the future or someone that you know is already here that you may want to start a new relationship with because I did see a lot of aces. Um, but I also saw pages um, and that's apology or, um, um, you know, aces are new beginnings. Pages could be an apology. Um, no, the communication between you two is not going well. Um, could be better um, but it's giving you anxiety um, because you're doubting your future it's like you don't have confidence all right um, but what I see here is um, listening to besides me <laughs> listening to a person that you've trusted um, and gone uh, and, 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 and went for with um, for advice um, whether they passed um, you know sometimes people have dreams about them if you if you keep seeing that person that that ancestor or mentor um, that passed it means something pay attention okay all right um, I don't know what else to tell you Aries um, it looks like you are going through a little bit of drama, but you will get out of it and you will be very successful in, um, in finding um, new emotions. <laughs> I just feel new emotions for you. I feel like the universe has someone new for you, um, whether it applies to you or someone else. But if you stay in this energy, um, it's not going to go well, okay? It's just going to be stagnant, and the, and the universe is here to tell you, I'm going to shake you up. <laughs> All right, I hope that resonated with you guys. All right, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you um, in the next video. And I apologize if I have to break this video up um, because time went over. All right.